yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm Vanessa Santos, um, and uh, my short story is Wildlife, um, which I'll read a bit of now. She wanted to call Ted, wake him, and make him see this, both so he could worry and plan and figure things out with her, and so he could confirm it for her, validate it. In the back of her head, though, the nagging feeling, the doubt, the fear. To wake him from sleep for nothing frightened her, in a different way than the lion did, but with a tighter grip. There was such distance between them now. The man lying there in their, in their bed, sleeping like the dead, whom she knew so well, yet not at all, had grown into a sort of stranger, wearing her husband's clothes, kissing her with his lips, but hollowed out, a flesh and bone robot going through the motions. He worked so hard, so much, that his world had become nothing but work, and Laura feared to tread upon it. She imagined waking him, his face groggy at first, and then annoyed, making his way to the window with a frown etched into his forehead, glancing outside before giving her a look and dismissing her, going back to bed. It was that look that held her in place and stopped her from calling out, the image of disdain and dismissal she could so readily see on his face. 